Hi guys, it's B, and welcome back to the Beehive. If you're new around here, I hope you enjoy and join the colony. So today is a different type of video that I thought would be fun to film. So yeah, let's get into it. I am going away from home for a few days, and I wish it was something as exciting as a vacation or a work trip. No, my water is getting shut down for like three days. Why they're doing repairs or something at the water station that supplies our water. So I'm not going to have water for three days. And instead of living like, well, instead of living with no water, I decided I am going to go stay by my sister and work from there and basically live there. So, of course, I need to pack makeup. And I decided I'm going to show you what I'm going to pack my kit that I use for traveling because I have way too much makeup to travel with. So I have to only pick a few. And usually it all fits in this bag. So yeah, let's get into it. Oh, there's fake blood in this bag from Halloween. Interesting. So I'm going to pick the products that I'm going to put in here and I'm just going to share a little bit about them and why I decide that that is the best for this bag. First things first, I'm going in with the Kiki Primer. Um, this is my daily primer. It's really good. It's really comfortable and does a great job. So, great. Um, next, foundation. Now, usually, my go-to foundation is the Revlon but I think this time I'm gonna pack fit me but I'm gonna pack two shades of fit me just so I can color correct because my skin has been doing weird things with the weather then we have concealer and concealer by far is only one choice fit me concealer I love this for contour we have the LA girl concealer pro and this is a great cream contour also, I've had this for like a really long time and it is still not finished. I don't know how much is left in here, but like this is worth the buy and it's cheap. It's like 60 Rand, I think. Anyways, after I do that, I set my face. So we must have probably the most important thing I carry with me on a daily basis is a Swish Beauty Matte Bounce because I like a matte face. So that is a must. I also like a color powder so fit me pressed powder uh what else do i do on my base blush i'm gonna take a red blush the mac baby blush nope what is this called baby baby powder blush i always get this name wrong it's baby baby and this pink blush by la girl that i got on sale and i'm not shy to say that it's very very pink so you know those two and I think that is the base done. Next, we move on to eyebrows. So I, my personal favorite eyebrow product is the Switch Beauty Brow Ball, which comes in this little contraption. And I'm going to try to show you, but like everything in here is completely broken, but I still love it. It's still my favorite. So I can't travel with this because that's just asking for a mess. So I'm going to take the Benefit pencil. Um, I have used this many times. I just like to keep it in the box because the box is pretty. I'm going to take the Benefit pencil and the Switch Beauty Beach Brow. I love this product. It sets very nicely. And that's all for eyebrows. Uh, I'll come to eyeshadow last. Eyeliner. Okay, without a doubt, we take my MAC Feline eyeliner for my waterline. As you all know, this is the only eyeliner I wear because it does not smudge, unlike other eyeliners I've tried. And for liquid liner, I'm taking the liquid ink from Essence. Mascara. First things first, with mascara, I have to take my eyelash curler because I have very straight lashes. I think I'm going to be taking my trusty Lash Princess, the purple one, and the Lash Legend by Kiki Beauty. This mascara is very, very black, and I really, really like that. For lips, for lips, I carry a brown pencil, a red pencil, and a purple pencil. 
And then I pretty much carry almost every MAC lipstick I own. I dropped one. Yeah, yeah, pretty much every MAC lipstick that I own. I have Ruby Woo, All Fight Up, Diva, Captive, um, and Rebel is, I think Rebel's in my handbag. I carry all my MAC lipsticks, specifically because they are trustworthy, I know they're comfortable, they last long, and in case I do need a lipstick that is long wearing, I do trust my MAC lipsticks. But as you may have heard, I don't have brown lipstick in MAC. So I usually carry my J-Cat lipstick. They don't have lipstick shades, they have lipstick code. So like, that is the code. I don't know if you can see it. I'll put the code on the screen. Um, then I also carry my J-Cat dark red lipstick. I just love this lipstick. And finally, my Kiki Bear Moon. This is a red brown lipstick. Again, like I said, browns need to be in here okay and in case i feel glossy i only carry one gloss and that is the essence shine 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 gloss most of you all know that this gloss is the utter best but um what i do do with this gloss is i tend to put it on my arm and use a brush to put it on my lips so i don't end up like coloring the gloss and lastly eyeshadow so because i don't have anything planned for the next three days i might not even use my eyeshadow but if i need it i take these three because they are so compact and so tiny and i have a lot of shades so yeah let's just go through it this is the maverick from revlon these are the lookbook collection and this is a stunning collection of browns and honestly this is all you really need but I like to be prepared. So if I want a pop of color, my pop of color is going to be blue or green from the player lookbook. Like, come on, guys. It's so like, like, what? It's so great for traveling. And then we have the Enigma palette, which is now giving me pinks and purples. Great. And like, each palette has eight shades so in total i'm carrying with me 24 shades and like this this is all this is this is literally all of the space it takes okay. um, and i believe that's it that's all i need i do carry with me one matte setting spray and one dewy setting spray this time i'll be taking the smudge matte setting spray and the rose dewy setting spray from kiki beauty i also take with me my makeup sponge cleaner brush cleaner i don't know what this thing is i bought it from Juke factory a while ago and you just run your brush and it takes off all the pigment so i only need to carry with me 10 brushes and it's you sorry 10 brushes and that's usually your normal set of five face brushes and five eyeshadow brushes okay so i found them so i usually travel with my unicorn brush set i just really like this brush set there's literally a foundation brush a blush brush a powder brush brush i use for setting powder a fan brush and five eyeshadow brushes so yeah this is just my travel set and i take my little tin with me so that i can reuse my brushes so in case you are wondering that is what i pack when I go traveling in this little little bag, it's like, you know, everything fits. Um, I do sometimes throw in some sponges if I feel like I'm going to need it, but I don't think I'm going to need it. So, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this video, let me know. Maybe I'll do more things like this. Who knows? I really appreciate it. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Let me know your thoughts, comments, and recommendations down below. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you all next time. Bye.